Hello and welcome to my new video. It's about to set up the layouts and the profiles in the Informatica Media Manager Product 360 web application. What I will show you today is to set up lay how to set up the layouts, set up the profiles, configuration of the layout and profiles, and some other simple tests. And log in. After that, I will do some little hints on how you can check your configuration. So, what we else need is, we have to start the web application and here we have a logger login, which is called the administrator. So you need the admin passwords here. So if you're logging in to your administrator, you will have this view here. Also to show you a little check before, we will log in with my other users, so I will show you how it looks like without any change here. If you watched my last video, you will see that I'm just logged in with my domain LDAP user, and that is the view I'm getting here. Just we log out again, log in as admin again, and here we will find the administration on top. You will see the organization, the user profiles and layouts. So what we want to do is, we see here the layouts. So there are a few default layouts, for example, dark, classics, silver, and whatever. But you can also create your own one. It's just creating a own layout template. So here you can change, for example, the colors, whatever you want, just to make a little change. We just say that make it a little bit more with colors. So we have green top. Yeah, okay, it's not about the colors but itself. So you can also just bring in a, a logo, for example, from your customer. And then we will save it as a test. So it's just only a little test here. So he will now just generate the layout. That can may take time because now in the background he's rendering layouts here and after the layout is rendered okay takes a little bit more here <laughs> just to even waiting well you see it can take up a few minutes but normally it should be easily done The server is now doing in the background. Maybe I can show you what's happening in the background. Here we have to, I've started the Tomcat in front. So, what you can now see is what he's doing. He's just rendering the images and one by one. And the, if this is done, the layout should be, should be finished. So, we just have to wait until the steps are ready. Not a little bit more to do. So, but I think we are ne nearly finished. And we will see the layout is saved as test on the left side. So that is an easy way how to create a layout to make it more personal for your customer. So what else do we need? Need a profile. The profile contains how the layout looks itself. So what options are shown? By default there are no profiles. So what we do now is create another one. We also call it test. Make it a little safe. So here you can use what should be shown from the beginning. So we can be the native project because it's an old module, but the customer should have his settings. We just want to have the medias module in front of. So what we else just want to see is what should be shown, the list, or so we can do a little configuration and also what kind of fields are shown. You can f switch through the views. 
and it can also say what's the default type. So for most customers, maybe it's general informations or the derivatives. I will take the general informations. So if I press save, here we create the profile, which is much faster than the layout. So after I've created both, I want to assign it to an organization. So I, my user is part of the in of the HPM interface customer. You see here my user. So you cannot assign a profile or layout to a user, but uh, if you have hundreds of users, so I think the management is very difficult. Here. So I will recommend to do it only on top of the organization. So here we have a list of profiles. You see my test. I will apply the test one. And down here we have all the tests created. So I will apply that also. So you see profile and layout are attached and saved. So what I will do now is just log out here. Change back to my login. Press the login button, and you will see there's the green top, and also the on the on the side you see the general informations are open. So if I now click on an object, you see also my view has changed, just the list view, and I will get more fields here. So. For the user, you have to can you can talk with your customer, what is be, what is best usage for his users, so you can do it do a more more personal for him. It's like the layouts in PIM. So that was the easy going. We have layouts now. Just to look out, and it's all done. So I have told you that I want to give you some hints. Though so the hints are. Just if you go to your web server and you will go to your Tomcat, your web applications and the OPAS folder. Here you have the main the main application itself and also a folder which is called custom. If you open custom and profiles, you will see my test layout here and also the folder of styles for example. The same is happening to the general. General, here also you will find my OPAS G configuration, which is basic. So, the hint is if you go to the OPAS G itself, you will also see a styles folder and you will also see the default OPAS G config XML. So, in some cases, you have to want to change the login page, you have to replace the styles folder. And for example, if you don't want to have, uh, if you want to have a default profile, another default profile than the one we're using here, you can also replace it. Please think about it. On every update, you have to do the same, based on the layout itself. Also, one little hint is if you're just running an update and you have such kinds of layouts and profiles, um, it can be that there are changes in the profiles. So what you have to do is just log in after the update to the administrative module, open the layout templates, go to the distributor, and what you will see here is, here is my test layout I've already generated. And there are the default layouts. On top you will see the current system revision, and in the background you will see the system revision. So for that one here, all is good. That one is the latest, and you want to update you want, you want to match with the default, so you want to generate new, but that we won't do here, here today. So normally, if there's an older revision in the back, and you make apply, you would just make an update on all your profiles which are used. So that's very easy. And also, I think, around about a few minutes to go, but it will give your customer a little more feeling of stay being at home. So, we have seen, we have set up a layout, we have set up a profile, 
We have done a little configuration for the layout and profile. We have assigned them. Then we have done a little test login and also some useful hints from my side. Well, here are all the hints. Again, it is better to do the configuration top of the organization because it makes the administration more easier. Yes, and it's also possible to edit the starts page. I've shown you, it's just of replacing the styles. But by default, it is not recommended, so you can do it. So if it's needed, it's part of customization here. So, also another hint was, um, if you have done an update, the layouts must also be updated after each update. So, it's be done by the layout distributor. So, I think that's very easy. And I think you are some useful hints. Well, thanks for watching my video. Um, if there's any feedback, you can just write a mail to support Informatia videos, or just post it on Twitter. So, Thank you for watching my video, thank you for your time, and I wish you could help in making some changes on the system. Have fun. Goodbye.